Like, how are you? In your shoes. Five seven. Yeah, in my shoes. What? <laughs> yeah. No way. And like, it's so hard to tell how like tall people are, or like, I remember before meeting any of the girls, like on Instagram, like, oh my gosh, like tall, but like they're so yeah. big, it's like, oh my gosh, like they could lift so much weight, they're gonna run so fast, and you meet them, you're like, oh, we're the same. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Beast Stellar Podcast. I'm your host, Stella Atwood. This is mom producer Meredith Atwood. And on today's episode, we have Marley Francis. Yay! <laughs> Again. Again. So this here's is take the- 12. <laughs> take 12. So here's the thing we filmed an episode with Marley about a month ago. And we were like, hey, let's put it all into one big episode. So the one we're filming now is about three weeks after the games. So you have that episode you have this episode we are putting it into one long episode all about marley so that's what this is about um this is the intro now you're going to see part one version of us and then about halfway through you will see part two version of us you will see us now later so we will see you later bye so congrats on making it to the games thank you (laughs) how are you feeling i feel pretty good about it i going into the season before they like told us all the changes i was like whatever it'll just be a learning year and then they're like 30 i was like oh okay (laughs) yeah because you made the you made the games last year when they only took 10 yes but i was in 14 15 still Mm -hmm. very impressive making the jump from 14 15 to 16 17 and making it what would you say was like the hardest part that you noticed between the two divisions um the weight definitely goes up quite a bit um but that was something we knew like going in um amazing what did you think of that um which workout was it Stella the with snatching the snatching one and the rowing one oh. Snatch row. um I'd never hit that before I'd ne- our last bar was 155 so it went I think it was like 115 135 155 something like that um I hadn't hit my PR before that was 145. I hadn't hit that since the games. <laughs> so, um, wow. The goal was like, if we get one, awesome. And then we ended up getting all three and like actually finishing the workout. So that was, that was super cool. And I was like, oh, there's more in the tank, I guess. <laughs> That's amazing. Only in CrossFit. Yeah. I swear. <laughs> like, it would never. I mean, Stella, you just did an Olympic weightlifting competition last weekend. Like, only in CrossFit, yeah. right? For sure. I mean, it's not as fun Olympic weightlifting. Like, it's it's really not as fun as CrossFit. Was that your first um, meet? Uh, no. So back in 2022, I competed at two meets. I competed at nationals. Oh, wow. And it wasn't great. So I was like, I'll just give it another run, see if I like it this year. Did a local meet on Saturday, realized, oh, this is really is not as fun as CrossFit. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, I'm okay. I think I think I'll just stick to CrossFit. Because it was just which we haven't broken to your potential Olympic lifting coach yet, so hopefully he won't see this. But we won't release <laughs> this till he knows. <laughs> yeah, that's right. We won't release it. But we'll let him know before. I'm gonna make a note for myself. Do not. It's just like you wait so long in between lifts, and it's just so much pressure. You know, you can't bomb out on a lift because you have to make all three. Yeah. On the a jerk. Marley, did you find that in that particular particular workout, just kind of having to not think about it helped? Yeah, uh, I definitely didn't think about it. I'm I'm an overthinker for sure. And it, it was like the end of the workout. It's like you're not going to get any less tired. Like 30 seconds isn't going to be like, I feel great. I'm going to PR now. Like it's going to be the same 30 seconds from now. So just go. And it worked. <laughs> <laughs> That's such a good point. It's still going to be a draw. No matter what you do. <laughs> CrossFit's like, all right, 50 cal row. And then I might be able to hit these snatches. Yeah. We'll see. 
Well, and I told Stella too, I don't want to like talk badly about Olympic weightlifting. It's a great <laughs> sport. But um, we, I told Stella, I was like, I'm not going to get my feelings hurt if we don't have to travel across the country for you to do six lifts <laughs> and then come home. Because I mean, at least CrossFit, you have, you know, lots of events. Yeah. Also, anyway. <laughs> So let's talk about the moment you realized you were going to the games for the second time. The open yes. didn't go as great as I had hoped. Um, at that point in the season, my whole goal for this season was like, don't stress yourself out. Like games training last year, I was the person that was like, I didn't do everything on my programming. Like I'm a loser now. So like my goal for the season was like, it's okay to not like, not every day is going to be perfect. So I was like, I really rode that bus up into the open. And I was like, oh, I kind of <laughs> need to compete. <laughs> Same thing with quarterfinals. So semis, I was like, okay, I'm like, the goal is the games, nothing else. Um, and then after the first set of workouts went through, I, those were my like weaker workouts, those scores. I knew my other scores would be better than those ones. So I was like, okay. The possibility is pretty high. <laughs> so was there like a specific moment when like the leaderboard finalized that you were like, hey, I'm going back to the games. Like, this is so exciting. Like, were you sitting with your family when it happened? Like, can you kind of explain that a little bit? Um, where was I? I think, yeah, I think this year I was, I think I was in my living room. Again. I was sitting in my living room and well, ours took forever to upload. Remember, we had like to wait like three hours and then like a whole day. So I was like, oh my gosh, if that happens again, I'm gonna be anxious. Yeah. Um, but they finally, yeah. they finally uploaded, and we kind of just all like looked at each other and I'm like, we did it. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> yeah, you said we did it. So we'll talk about your support yeah. system a little bit. Like, what is your family like? Your coaches or Jim? Um, my family is very involved. The affiliate I work out at is our affiliate. Uh, they opened it back in... Who's making the trip up to Michigan? Um, so my parents will go. One of my um, my uncles going. And then my like gym uncle is going. My coach <laughs> from Invictus, Holden, he's going. And then um, my boyfriend is going as well. And then we, I think we have a couple that are like, maybe but we don't know yet <laughs> so your parents don't coach you my dad um my dad will do like day-to-day -day coaching we train together um he is a master's athlete he didn't decide to do the open or anything this year because they fell on the same weekend he's like I'm not doing that um so he's my like day-to-day -day coach we train together and then um I get all my programming and my like online coaching from Holden at Invictus yeah. So can you talk about more about like growing up in the CrossFit community? Because you don't really see a lot of that from teen athletes. You know, we start when we're eight years old, but like talk about just mm -hmm. growing up in that area and what it was like. It was, it was super fun. Um, my dad, he used to do like regionals and all that. So like I was in the gym all day. So just watching him like, oh, that's cool. And then they went to the games one of the years it was in Carson and that's when I first learned about like the games and I was like I want to go with you guys and then I was like watching the documentaries and that's like all I grew up doing um but I've all my majority of my friends growing up were all from the gym we all hung out together all the time like it was just a big old family and it still is <laughs> so is that all you've done is CrossFit did you do any other sports I did I did soccer when I was like six that was not a good fit. Um, I did gymnastics for like three or <laughs> four years. Let's talk about why. <laughs> um, why was soccer not a good fit? Because Stella was not a good fit for soccer either. And she has a good story. Well, I'm you say you're not. Not coordinated. I mean, like we're athletes, we should be coordinated. But just like hand-eye coordination for me is just not it. Like kicking the ball and like passing back and forth, not my thing at all. <laughs> I'm glad because like so many of these CrossFit athletes are like, we did football, we did lacrosse, we did all this stuff. And I'm like, I have no, no. hand-eye coordination. <laughs> like, it's bad. None. I can barely catch a football. <laughs> well, Stella, tell about like your soccer career from age seven to eight. Like, didn't you kick like the ball at the, the same girl's face twice in one game? <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> that might have happened. Yeah, it did happen. Um, it was not on did purpose. You forget though. about that. It was not on oh. purpose though. It it was in like a well, random good. game, and uh, I think my toe was pointed towards the ball, and it went straight into the girl's face. She went, "Oh my god!" Started bawling her eyes out, and I was like, "Whoops!" And then I think I got like a penalty for it. Was out for like. <laughs> 10 minutes and then I got back in did the exact same thing oh to the same, same girl. girl and I'm pretty <laughs> sure she has it out for me still but it's <laughs> oh wait you know who that is no dude but I bet she like that oh. girl came in the face twice in one game I'm gonna find her yeah she probably knows beef. who you are I thought you like still knew her I was like oh no I should I'll edit that out <laughs> but now I'm keeping it <laughs> so soccer was not they and then they just put me in i was goalie for so long after that they did not let me out of the goal <laughs> like we can't trust stella with the ball guys <laughs> too many penalties <laughs> so they just like put me as goalie for like the rest of the season i was like i don't like this anymore <laughs> i'm glad i'm not well, the look, only one stella see you made a new friend in marley because yes. same Yes. Just no hand-eye coordination. The second they put a ball in CrossFit, I'm screwed. <laughs> no, no throw like a ball across the field. <laughs> Dead last. Oh no. But like, if you could do a sport, like that's not CrossFit. What sport would you do? Um, I did gymnastics for like four years, and I really, I really loved bars. Um, so I was always like, if there's a way I could just do bars, I would stay in gymnastics. Um, and then I did volleyball. I'd say volleyball was probably my favorite. Um, but yeah, I could probably pick volleyball. I mean, that's some hand-eye yeah. coordination, though. It's a ball. Yeah, but it's not like tiny. It's like a big one. Yeah. So you have a lot. You have a lot of opportunities to get it. <laughs> <laughs> you know those like yeah. big inflatable beach balls. I mean, yeah. like <laughs> if there was a sport with that, I feel like I would do really well at that. Yeah. Mom, do you know what I'm talking about? It's literally like human sized. <laughs> like the ones that the people get in them? No, like the ones that are in oh, the lake and people those. try to like jump off a diving board and land on top of them. Oh. Like the big balls on Wipeout? <laughs> yeah, those. If there was that, I <laughs> boing, would boing, boing. I would be able to do a sport with that because I would I would see it. The seeing is the problem. I, yeah. <laughs> okay. Seeing in the hands. Yeah, you say so. Man, but it's no better with rackets or clubs or bats. No, that makes it worse. No. So, how do you think gymnastics helped you in CrossFit? Um, I definitely feel like it helped me a lot. Um, I mean, growing up at the gym, it's like you just kick up on your hands like randomly, and you're like, ah. Oh. So that probably contributed as well. Um, but the like amount of hours we had to put into gymnastics I feel definitely helped me um this is a lot and now I'm like this I'm like oh this is nothing but to some people they're like oh my gosh at the gym all day <laughs> where are you yeah. from Arizona. I'm in Arizona <laughs> is it hot there I bet it's hot yes yeah um it's actually been cooler this week at a whopping 110 um <laughs> but we got rain earlier this week for the first time like all year so that was cool <laughs> um yeah what major city are you near phoenix is three hours away yeah you're like on the surface of the sun yeah yeah <laughs> but we have a lake like, so it's a, a, fine like, like a nice cool 110 degrees <laughs> i'm sorry 105 degree is lake is she on the sun right now <laughs> Um, do you guys know Taya? I think you guys did an interview yeah. with her. She's coming out to yeah. visit in like a couple of weeks. And oh. um, she texted me and she was like, um, I just checked the weather. How are you not dying? She's like, do you have AC? I'm like, yes, we have AC. Don't worry. Oh, man. Oh I want to come. I know you yeah, should. I want to go. It's like, we should make a camp out oh of it. <laughs> that would be so fun. That's so fun. Are y'all doing like your final prep together? Um, she's coming out for like a week. Um, she was originally gonna come out like the week before games, and then she pushed it up to the beginning of August. So we'll just train together for that week, and then she'll go back home. But it's still fun. 
So fun. So let's talk about friendships and CrossFit. And I mean, obviously, you you acquired Taya from that. I think um, everybody has acquired Taya. Like everybody <laughs> loves Taya. Like we have all acquired her. <laughs> She's yes, everybody's Taya, best friend. Taya is everyone. Yes. <laughs> So how did you, did you guys meet, did you and Taya meet at the games or did you meet before yeah. then? We, we like message on Instagram. I'm, I try and message like all well, last year when there was 10, I try and message all the girls like, congrats. Like, can't wait to meet you. Like at least reach out to all of them at some point. Um, so we talked like on Instagram or whatever, but I met her at the games. Love it. Have you texted everybody, normal. all 30 people or 29 people in your <laughs> no. Instagram? No, no, I've, I've. I've talked to like the friends that I've like made. Um, I like that there's more girls because then we'll get to make more friends. So that'll be super cool. Thirty will be a nice. It'll be a nice competition mm-hmm. feeling. I mean, not that ten didn't, but it'll be a lot more chaos. So chaos is good, I guess. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I wonder. Like, I hope the warm up area is big enough because I feel like it's gonna be small and everybody's gonna be like just crowding on top of each other. <laughs> So there's going to be like I think, 120 of us just warming up at one time. Well, oh, we're all not. going at the same time? Well, I don't no, know. Stella made that up. There, I don't know, man. <laughs> Mass starts are a thing. One heat. One did heat. You, all did you get groups. that email today? The one with like all the questions? I went mm-hmm. through it. And we. I think our first event Friday is at like noon. Yeah. But we, we have to leave wings at like 7 a.m. or something. We'll see. <laughs> Pack your snacks, kids. We're getting some Go Ruck shoes. I saw that. Mm, and yeah. then, well, we saw two events on Friday, so that's good. Do we know how many events total? Not I yet. I don't think so. No. But we they, do know that they're releasing will be them. Two, yeah, they'll release most of them before, but two events will be released when we are there. So, hmm. do you, how was it last year, Marley? Did they. Did you know what was coming? No. The only events we knew um, were the ones that, like, everyone was doing. So we knew the Olympic total and then the 5K. Um, And then everything else we would get emailed the night before. So after registration, we got everything for day one. And then end of day one, we got day two. And the day two, we got everything for day three except the final. And then we got the final later. How do you handle that? mentally is that are you like the type of person that can roll with it or are you freaking out (laughs) um honestly i'd rather i'd rather not know because like the longer i know the workout then i'm like oh i could do it this way or i could do it this way how's it gonna be set up if it's set up like this like i'll do it like this but if it's not i prefer to just not know yeah i'm the same way that's why i've like don't like doing the open because it's three weeks long and like workouts get released on a Thursday and then you have till Monday. I hate that. <laughs> like just give me five workouts in a span of two days. <laughs> Seriously. That's what I'm good at. Kill like, us. I can't I'd handle. rather be killed. <laughs> give me seven workouts in one hour. <laughs> it would be good to just be surprised yeah. though. I'm with you. Cause then it's just like turning it over in your mm-hmm. head, all the details. Yeah. Like what I mean, I'd, wrong, I'd what like to good. know before, but not like before as in like we're in the corrals and like, this is what you're doing. Um, <laughs> right. <laughs> I don't I don't need any surprises like that, but it's it's definitely don't need it hanging over my head any longer than it should. <laughs> Did you watch the I think it was the 2018 CrossFit documentary and they had that skierg burpee sled workout and you didn't know the rep scheme until you finished it yeah Uh, wasn't it called chaos yeah yeah (laughs) or something like that i think that would would be a really cool concept because you just don't know like do you send it or do you pace it (laughs) i think that'd be so cool yeah what would you do stella what would i do um do i get to pick the rep scheme no, like if you want, okay, so you and Marley at the games, one of the workouts is like chaos. Do you send it? Oh. What, do, what are you doing? <laughs> um, you don't send it, but you don't pace it, you know? You, no. What you go halfway. <laughs> halfway. 
cautiously optimistic. Cautiously sending it. What about you, Marley? What do you do? I would probably overpace it. I tend to do that more Mm. than I should already. So I would definitely overpace it. Um, But I feel like in that documentary when they're like, oh, once you saw like the next person, like if someone was ahead of you and they got off, then you're like, oh, I know what's next. So I feel like Mm -hmm. if I just stay in the back for the first part, I would be okay. (laughs) But I was little, like younger, I would tell my dad, like, I don't want to know what I'm doing today. Like, just yell at me during the workout and tell me to go do something else. Never happened. (laughs) Never got my chaos, but it's okay. (laughs) I would love to see burpees to a really high target. I would not. Like, how how high were you? You had to get a running start? <laughs> I I don't know. How high is too high? Let's see. That's just because you're a giant. Exactly. How tall are you, Marley? Are you tall? Uh, no. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> I'm, I'm a 5'3", no. maybe, on a good day. <laughs> how tall are you? Day. In your shoes. 5'7". Yeah, in my shoes. What? Yeah. No way. And like, it's so hard to tell how like tall people are. Or like, I remember before meeting any of the girls, like on Instagram, like, oh my gosh, like, not like they're so big, not as in like tall, but like they're so yeah. big as like, oh my gosh, like they could lift so much weight, they're gonna run so fast. And you meet them, you're like, oh, we're the same. <laughs> I was trying to find that picture of you and Ruby with Griffin, because someone, it wasn't. It wasn't Marley, but it's someone else with an M name messaged um, Ruby because we were I was tagged in and they were like, um, how tall are you? <laughs> like with a concerned face because <laughs> it was like Ruby just looked really little. And then Griffin's Five like 11. you looked almost the same height as Griffin yeah. in that pic. And so they were like, um, how tall are you? Like, like not that yes, tall. I'm not it's a that surprise. Tall, I promise. Yeah. You're like six <laughs> foot two. <laughs> yeah but like okay it's all good i do have a fun question what celebrity okay. would you want to be your best friend and why probably jim carrey i'm i love comedy i love it jim carrey his movies are like my favorite i can watch those all the time so jim carrey that's my answer <laughs> what you the pen is I literally quoted that <laughs> yesterday. Like, that's a weekly quote for me. <laughs> yes. Oh my gosh, I love that movie. So good. I'm a okay. lawyer too, so I like liar liar really hits close to home. So. <laughs> yeah. What's your favorite Jim Carrey movie? Ooh, probably Ace Ventura. Got to be my favorite. Have you seen that, Stella? I've heard of it. I should oh, probably watch, to watch it. Though. We should watch it tonight. <laughs> you need to watch it and report we'll FaceTime back. Marley. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How about you, Mom? You got a favorite Jim Carrey movie? Oh, I'd have to say Liar Liar. I mean, but Dumb and Dumber's good too. Dumb They're all. I mean, good. I agree. I just think he's the. I mean, I don't know that he would stress me out as like my best friend to hang out with. <laughs> I mean, he would stress me out, but um, one of the best physical comedic actors for sure if not the best like him and will ferrell so i would say will ferrell would be up there yeah i love will ferrell Mm. he's hilarious (laughs) like him and stepbrothers kills me oh my gosh it's so funny (laughs) like i quote (laughs) stepbrothers so much in my day-to-day life (laughs) but you still haven't seen talladega night no i have not so that's that's my favorite I feel like Marley's about to come for me on this. She was like, I'm not judging. I'm just going to send you a movie list after this. (laughs) Need to watch. (laughs) I watch a lot of rom-coms and romance movies. That's my go-to. So we just finished up with the games. How are you feeling mentally, physically to be back to reality? Because all of us teens are like, oh, we're back to school. This kind of (laughs) sucks. Um, physically, I'm doing great. The only time that I was like, oh, God, was like a couple of day- the days after the games. My legs were not OK. Um, mentally, I'm doing good. I I feel better now that I'm getting back into routine of training, Um, being out of that routine and not being in the gym and just kind of like 
sitting around is not my thing. Like I'm a routine person. So it's nice to be back in routine. Um, and I have, I won't go to school for the entire day. So it's kind of nice. <laughs> so I didn't have to be thrown back into that, but yeah. So this part of this part two, will just be all talking about the games. And if it's cool with you, I would like to go through every workout if we have time and talk strategies and how you are feeling physically and mentally through them, because I would love to hear kind of your, your strategies on it. I think that would be really cool. Okay. So when you do this, Stella, tell everyone what each event is. I have it on my paper. (laughs) Because like... (laughs) All you games kids are just like, oh yeah, that <laughs> one. And the listeners may not know. Yes, I have it on the paper, don't you? Okay. Worry. I'm sorry. I'm just being a producer. It's okay. <laughs> so day one. Actually, let's go to check-in because check-in was really cool. Can you like so you were at the games last year? Let's yes. let's hear your opinion on how different check-in was from last year and this year. Way different. Like 180 different um still super cool honestly I would say so when we did check in last year yeah last year um you like showed up to a person and checked yourself and checked your coach in and then they took you um took you back and you did like a mic check thing so they said your name right Uh, and then they would take you back even farther and you had like your own wardrobe with your name on it. You've seen the videos. I don't even know why I'm explaining. Uh, (laughs) but this year it was the same, but different. It was cool. Um, I don't know about you guys. We had a long, we had a long wait. We were one of the last groups to go. So, um, they were like super behind. Um, but it was still fun because I got to just like chill in line with like all of my friends. Um. It was cool. I liked how they um, did check-in photos, like with like your parent or your coach or whoever's there. That was really cool because I didn't do that last year, at least for me. So I'm glad I got those. Those were really cool. Yeah, you and Taya got a picture. <laughs> yeah, that was probably one of my favorite pictures of the weekend. <laughs> oh, where is it? Is it on an Instagram somewhere? Um, yes, it's on my Instagram on my check-in post, but okay, I can send I'll it to you it. if you want. <laughs> That's the cutest thing. Um, <laughs> we didn't re- we didn't have a wait because we were the first group to go, which was cool. And then like I we walked out and we were in our gear and we just saw everybody. And I was yeah, like, I saw you. <laughs> You're like, <laughs> like, yep, that's me. Oh, oh yep, there it is. is. <laughs> okay, but Taya has gotten so jacked. Oh, I know. Well, I've decided like she'll be the jacked friend and I'll be the tan friend, so it's fair. <laughs> because especially in that photo I was like I look really tan and she came down to Havasu I think like a week after we did the first part of this um and she got like tan but we were outside (laughs) in the dirt so she like lifted up her shorts a little bit and there was like a dirt tan line so now she has like she's tan but (laughs) tan, dirt tan so (laughs) speaking of dirt day one of the games was hosted at the pit ranch which for people who don't really know what the pit is like it has a lot of ponds it's got some trails with lots of hills it's got dirt sand grass literally just think of like nature one place (laughs) mind-blowing so that's where it was hosted stella mile and a half trail run guys And you finish that, and it was probably about 30 minutes before you go into the 600-meter obstacle course sprint. Obstacle meaning about, like, six sand hills. (laughs) So let's let's hear your strategy, if you have any, about the run. Um, Did you walk the course at all? Kind of talk us through what you were feeling going into that first run and then that obstacle sprint. Um, so I was really grateful we didn't do a 5k because like every competition I've gone to has been a 5k for the run of it. I'm getting pretty tired of those. So when they said it was mile and a half, I was like, sweet. Um, my strategy for that was honestly like, I'm not a runner. You could look at the finishing. I'm not a runner. <laughs> uh, so my strategy was like, you're gonna have to push harder than you want to. Um, I saw the heat times or like the estimated ones a little bit earlier 
So I knew we had like, it wasn't like finish the mile and a half and like go right into the obstacle course. So that was kind of like refreshing to know. Um, but my strategy for the mile and a half was just like, send it. And then after the mile and a half, I was like dying. And I went over to the one of those tents and like sat in front of the fan and I had like ice packs and water everywhere. And I was like, I don't know how I'm supposed to run into 600 meters. Um, but we did it. I liked having the sand hills. Those were, they definitely played to my favor. Um, it would have been a little, it would have been cool if there was like, we had to do something with the tires that they had set up. Like I thought we were going to have to like, watch out and like jump over the tires and we didn't have to do that, but probably save people from eating the ground. But yeah, for that one, it was kind of just survive. <laughs> I mean, that, I don't know if I liked the sand hills. I definitely think they play, played in my favor, though, just because I'm able to use my legs and, like, really run up a hill. I mean, I remember that last hill, I think, there was this girl next to me. I don't know who she was, and I'm sorry if that was you. But she was just like, oh. I'm sorry to you, too, because I yelled at Stella, yeah, take her whole, down. <laughs> my whole section went, take her down, get her. And I was like, oh, <laughs> Cause she, she was so was close like, and I was like take her down Stella because we knew Stella was like in the bottom third right so I was like you can get her I know <laughs> terrible don't even know if she was in my age group parents behaving badly <laughs> anyways I didn't use my hands on the hill I just ran straight up it and she was just like <laughs> it was so sad so I don't know how I felt but it it was just like endless sand hills I did not know how many there was going to be. And I was like, okay, that's one. We might have two more. There was like six. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I walked the course. So after we did opening ceremonies and all that um, and our briefing, I walked the entire course for the mile and a half. Obviously, the obstacle course part wasn't set up because they overlapped. Um, but I was like, okay, that's a hill. That's a hill. And then I saw like the big hill by the helicopter. I was like, that's definitely a hill. And then the last hill before the finish line, I didn't know if that was going to be in the race, but like it kind of looked like it was going to be. Um, I actually took a wrong turn on that hill, <laughs> on the last hill. Um, mm -hmm. I went up it and there was like a divot and it, I should have looked because it went right into the white tents. But I went and then this guy was like, wrong way, wrong way. And I was like, oh, no, and started to turn. But all the girls behind me also went the wrong way because I was in the front of all of them. <laughs> so basically I caused a disaster but it's that happened in your blind. group too stella <laughs> that happened in your group too really yeah we and like the first the lead group the one really? where ruby ruby was mm -hmm. like in the lead and went the wrong way oh, yeah. and two people passed her because they got oh. course corrected yeah right, right. yeah i don't know, know if that was the that. same hill but the blind leading the blind <laughs> yes <laughs> yes <Pretty blind -wise. laughs> um so yeah, there was really not a lot to talk about for day one. There was supposed to be that D-ball event, where which we will cover when we're talking about day three. We were supposed to do that, but then there was rain, there was hail, and, you know, Brock, who programmed the games, made a very good decision to not have us doing that event outside while it was raining. Very good idea. So, day two, um, it started with the Olympic total, which was a... 20 second window you got to do two attempts on a snatch and two attempts on a clean and jerk so you got 20 seconds to do that and there was probably about eight minutes in between those lifts so you did that one snatch wait about eight minutes and you do the another snap another snatch and same with the clean and jerk for the people who didn't know um did you test any of the workouts is something that i want to know i tested the amrap the like wall ball I tested that one I kind of just made up um guesses for the lunge length because I knew how long the hockey stadium was and I knew they were going to be 15 in a heat so I kind of just guessed on that but the, I tested that and then what else did I test I did like a round and a half of the thruster workout I think those are the only two I tested okay I was wondering because I want to know if you tested the Olympic total no <laughs> okay so speaking of that did you have a plan going into that and were you like these are the lifts and I'm going to hit or were you like okay I know that 
I know my opening lifts and then I'm just going to see how that feels and see if I can go really heavy. Yeah. So in training, I, I didn't do like, I didn't build up to my Olympic total. I just built up to what like we would think would be my openers. Um, so I knew for my snatch 145 was going to be my opener. Um, and then for my clean, I think I did 180 or 185. I think I did 180. I knew those were going to be my openers, like no, no moving up or down. Those are my openers. And then for the second lift, we knew it was going to be between like for the snatch, like 155, 160. Um, and then for the clean and jerk, we kind of didn't really know. I opened with 180. So we were like, we'll just see how that goes. Uh, <laughs> didn't go to plan, <laughs> but it's okay. <laughs> What happened? Um, I missed both my second lifts. <laughs> oh, so, no. <laughs> so, yeah. So that wasn't great. Um, but I hit oh. both my openers and they were fine. And then the snatch, I'd never snatched that much before. The most I did was 155 in that. Oh, wait. Like, so you quarter- hit a snatch and a clean and jerk. Yes. You did- yes. Oh, okay. I was thinking. It's not the second one. And- okay. Okay. That's not that bad. No, no. but that's still no. like, oh. But I yeah, thought, yeah. yeah, I was thinking you missed your clean jerk. So I was like, oh, no. Okay, no. carry on. I will go back to quit being tragic now. <laughs> um, so I already like, okay, I'm not going into that event like event win, top 10. Like, no, let's be real. Um, but I at least wanted to do my best and at least hit a PR, uh, which I mean, technically I hit a PR on my clean, just not the jerk. But for my snatch, yeah, still counts, even if it was ugly. <laughs> um, but the 145 snatch was fine. And then I went to do 160. The first one, I just got into a high pull and I was like, no. And then I did, um, I caught it. And then my arms were just like, Bleh. so that didn't go great. <laughs> um, the cleans, I I do power clean and power jerks. Um, so I did, I did my power clean and jerk at 180 and it felt like fine. And then my coach told him was like 195. And I looked at him. I was like, oh, okay. And I was like, I'll load it, I guess. And so I loaded it on there. Uh, I caught the first clean in a squat, which I was like, oh, great. Because I was doing power. So I was like, oh, no. (laughs) Having to do squat cleans at a max without doing any squat before is not a good idea. Refresh, hit it again, caught it in the squat. I stood it up and I was like doing like the wobbles back and forth. And I was like, oh no. And so I tried to hit it. It didn't go well. Um, I've actually passed out before during a lifting event. Uh, My first competition ever, Waterpalooza 2023, we had a clean and jerk. I also did power clean and push jerk then. Caught one in like a super low power, stood it up and then just was like, and passed out. So I was like standing up the clean and I was like, not again. but we didn't oh, pass no. out. <laughs> no. Just like you would have been response. a meme. You would have been a meme if you did it again. Oh, 100%. <laughs> it, it would be a thing now. Like You'd be like Marley the fainting goat. They would just yeah. like... <laughs> yeah. And the, the camera guys stayed on me afterwards. Like I missed the jerk and then I stood there and I like grabbed my head because I was like, I almost passed out again. And I'm like shaking and he's like, <laughs> like go away. <laughs> Go away. But oh, no. it didn't go to plan. Uh, but at least I PR to clean. I mean, <laughs> especially when you try to power clean and you go into squat. Like you're not in you're not you're never in the right position. No. <laughs> That's what I'm impressed about is you were like, I'm gonna power clean this and you're in a certain position, but you somehow still get out of the squat. That's impressive. <laughs> Well, thanks. The pictures are just like 10 out of 10. I look like I'm like trying to like, I look constipated, honestly. It's oh so gosh. pretty. I know. Like they did a very good job at my face and like most of the photos. It's just like, <laughs> like, oh gosh, not photogenic at all. You can't fix your face. They're just media crew. And then like on that AMRAP, there's one photo of me doing pistols and my face is just like, boo. <laughs> Just like melting. 
Oh, what was with that? Usually that's like when you're running and you like hit the concrete and all your gravity. But like, why did your face look like that on a pistol? <laughs> did you go down so fast? That- I think so. I just like crashed at the bottom like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> like, great. Good job, Stella. Amazing. <laughs> so that was event one. Almost passed out. Interesting. Don't yeah. don't want you to pass out again. So let's ten out of ten. Do, do not recommend. Do not recommend. <laughs> um, and then the next event was the AMRAP, which was a sixteen minute AMRAP, thirty five double unders, thirty wall balls. Help me out here. Uh, twenty five toes to bar. Yeah, yeah. Twenty pistol. pistols, and then fifteen muscle ups, and then fifty lunch. foot overhead walking dumbbell lunch got it what was the the weight on your dumbbell mine yeah Mm -hmm. 35 35 yeah i think it was and you had 25 stella yeah okay but everything else was the same wall ball was different you had 14 we had a 20 20. so i this is kind of the one workout that i really really want to know your strategy going into it because i've talked to a lot of people about it and they have, you know, broken up each movement very differently. So, like, what was your strategy going into it? And also, what was your mindset going into it? Um, so, this was the one that I tested. Like, I tested all the way through. The only variable that was different was the lunge length, obviously, because it wasn't at a hockey stadium. Um, when I tested it in practice, I th- got to... I got like 15 wall balls into the third round, I believe. Um, And then at the games, I got halfway through the lunge. I got called back and so I had to do it again. But anyways, I got halfway through the lunge. Um, Honestly, I was stoked for this event. Like, I was like, finally some CrossFit. Um, (laughs) So I was pumped up about it. Wall balls, they were heavy. Um, Wall balls are not like a strength of mine but they're not a weakness but those targets are not the ones that I have at my gym so they always like throw me off a little bit um but honestly it went my finish kind of went as planned but like during the workout I was like oh my god this is going terribly (laughs) um my grip was honestly the worst part my legs were fine but my grip was like toasted. So that was kind of my limiting factor on that one. But yeah. What would you have done different to like when did you did you think your grip was going to be an issue or would that that was surprising? Um I didn't think my grip was going to be an issue because I broke it up differently than I did in practice. Um in practice my grip definitely became a little bit of a problem on the muscle ups but I did bigger sets in practice on both the toes bar and the muscle ups. Um, So I didn't think it was going to be an issue at the games. My grips just did not stick to those bars. And I talked to other girls who used the same grips as me and they were like, but it still, it went fine. I just had to like, towards the end of the workout, it was sweaty towards the end of the workout. Like it was like, don't fall off the bar, like doing your muscle up kit, but it wasn't terrible. And hindsight, I still did pretty good. Um, compared to my practice when my lunge was way shorter so it went good how did you did you have like a game plan like I'm gonna do 10 reps on the toes to bar and then I'm gonna like take a 10 second rest did you kind of have like a idea of how you're going to break up those gymnastics movements yeah so for the um double unders I'm broken (laughs) um hopefully the wall balls were I believe I did. I tried. I I hit myself in the face with the wall ball at one point, but um, I'm pretty sure I did eight, eight. I don't know. I did like eight, eight, seven or something yeah. like that on the wall balls. Um, the toes to bar. You are staring into my soul. <laughs> she what? does that i do that too much it's so bad it <laughs> isn't it, it is but this is part of your media training. it's gotten you have way to learn better to be like 
It's gotten way better <laughs> though, but sometimes I just space out and I'm like, poor Ty <laughs> Jenkins episode number one, because you had just had your wisdom teeth out and, and it hurt to smile. Didn't... And you didn't know that you're supposed to work on your resting face. And you were like, so it was just like, yeah, I think I watched the YouTube one for that, like the YouTube episode for that. And I kept watching it. I was like, he's like blowing her mind. <laughs> you're like, <laughs> oh, I'm so glad that you thought that's that what was going on. He was blowing my mind, though. He was a very good talker. He had some good advice. <laughs> but really, I just like it hurt to smile because I got my wisdom teeth out. So. <laughs> Anyways, we were talking about the AMRAP. Um, you were talking about your toes-to-bar sets? Yeah, and then we oh. lost you. And, and then, then we you lost, lost you. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the toes-to-bar, I'm pretty sure that's where I did like 8, 8, 7, 7. Um, the pistols are no problem for me. That was the rest. So just like, okay, pistols, cool. Uh, and then the dumbbell lunges were supposed to be one dumbbell and then at the briefing they did two plot twist whoa okay that kind of changed some things for me um so i'd say that was the only thing that about that workout that was kind of like oh whoa (laughs) but the rest of it was pretty calm ish i would say (laughs) yeah i i did enjoy that workout i think that was really fun yeah, we've never had an AMRAP before, like, in a live competition that I've done. So that was kind of cool. Um, everyone kind of, like, got to stay on the floor the entire time, which never really happened. So that was kind of fun. Yeah. Well, it was, like, supposed to be five rounds. And I swear, nobody tested that. And was like, yeah, these teens can do five rounds with a 16-minute time cap. <laughs> what? No. Oh, heck no. <laughs> no. It was so, originally written as five rounds. Yeah. 16 oh. time cap. And then they added AMRAP. I don't know. It was somewhere hmm. along the way it got confused, but it ended up fine. Yeah, it worked out. They they fixed I liked their it. problem. <laughs> it was good. And then we had the Hanston Walk Elimination Workout. <laughs> Me oh, too. Oh, no. You have Me a sad too. face. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> You know, if this upsets you, we don't have to talk a lot about it. <laughs> it's okay. It's fine. We got we learned but, from our mistakes. <laughs> yeah, we all learn from our mistakes on that one. So did you like test you didn't test that, did you? No. Um the way my gym is set up, sleds do not push well on our floor. So I have to sled outside. Um yeah. where I live, it was still 120. So um I I was I was sledding outside and handstand walking outside. Um, but I wasn't about to test that workout out there. Um, I have gloves, but yeah, I actually, I think I did, I did like a, a workout with those movements. And then on the last round of it, I was like, okay, I'm going to sprint the sled and sprint the handstand walk. And then a car pulled in the parking lot, like halfway through the sled. I was like, oh, okay, go ahead. (laughs) Um, so I didn't test that one, but on paper I was like, oh yeah, like, this is my workout. I got this. Even Taya texted me. She's like, oh, you got this in the bag. <laughs> Did not have it in the bag. There oh. was no bag. <laughs> like, <laughs> um, Honestly, I would have There was liked... no bag. <laughs> yeah, there was zero bag in sight. <laughs> um, I think it would have been better. It would have taken a little bit longer, but it would have been cool if we went like long ways because the entire weekend we went like short ways. But for that workout, it came down to your judge. And if you can turn the sled fast enough, um, those aren't the types of sleds I have at home anyways. But if it was like one long shot, it was like heavy sled push and then like a handstand walk sprint across the back of the field. Oh yeah. That would have been awesome. Um, but I mean, I was, I was excited for it. But at the same time, I was nervous. Like, sprints aren't really my thing. Like, no matter what type of sprint it is, running, lifts in short periods of time, just sprint workouts, not really my thing. Um, so I was, like, nervous about it. But I was like, I'll I'll be okay. I'll make it to the second round. And I didn't. I thought the handstand walk was going to be, like, way longer. And I thought I was going to, like, be passing people on my hands. And none of that happened. <laughs> Did the turf affect you at all? Um, not really. It got a little sticky, 
but I'm used to that because it the sleds we have honestly they don't really push good on anything now that I think about it um but they're on the concrete they're a little better but it didn't affect me too much I think the only thing it affected was like mentally because in the warm-up area we were on that like I don't like it, I don't know it was it was really nice and everybody was pushing their sleds and we were just like oh. zoom they were hauling in the warm bear and I was like oh no and my coach told him he was like hey like we're into a warm up round and he's like you're gonna have to go faster than that and I was like I don't know if I can <laughs> but um it went out it went okay I guess kind of <laughs> we funniest, can say it. <laughs> the funniest part was where you had to, what they called the little box where you had to put your sled in I was Parking on my spot. last. Oh, you just spoiled it. Oh, sorry. <laughs> beep. Anyways, beep. Okay, here. I'll start over. Pretend I'm not here. You do anyway. Bada so beep. it was the last last length of the sled, and I was going, and you know I'm crooked. I'm like, ee. It was so bad, and my judge was like, "Put the sled in the garage. Put it in the garage." <laughs> I was like, "What?" <laughs> The garage, fancy. The garage like, oh, okay, <laughs> cover it was parking. The parking spot, right? Yeah, but then he was like, or she was like, put in the garage, and I was like, parking spot. <laughs> okay, I did. I did love their little demo. The they had that yes. board, and they used a little piece of tape. Yeah. Very helpful. They had like a whole like poster thing going on, and it had all the lanes and like the colors, the lines, and like so. They 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 had like a little little thingy like magnet, and they would be like, so you're gonna go here, and they're gonna go here, and then you're gonna put the sled in the parking spot over here. <laughs> and I was like, I love this <laughs> demo. It was very nice. Those ladies were very nice. They they oh, were I troopers. Loved I loved them. Shout out to the ladies who did yeah. all the briefings in the back. Yeah, shout out to those people. You're nice. <laughs> y'all were amazing y'all y'all were like let's do this ladies let's go and I was like yeah they, they put up with everyone having to pee last minute including me they're like <laughs> uh, does anybody else have to go pee right now <laughs> <laughs> yeah all right so that was that that's that, that was the end of day two right end of day two okay. personally I did not like that being the end I was like oh dang it yeah but it is what it is now last day day three we started with the interval thruster echo bike rope climb workout which was ooh, every two minutes one minute off for four rounds but the but the fourth round was a three minute interval mm -hmm. all right now each <laughs> interval started with two rope climbs and then a seven cal echo bike, and then max thrusters in remaining time. That was the workout. <laughs> Look at me remembering <laughs> that. So I think there is a lot of strategy for some people going into that. And then some people are like, I'm just going to send the thrusters and really blow up on the first round, which I'm sorry if Marley, that was your strategy. No, um, it right. was not. <laughs> Um, so I, like I said, I did one round of this in practice and then I rested a minute and then I did like the rope climb, the bike, and then like five thrusters. Um, so like going into this workout, I was like, I'm finishing in three rounds. Like that was the goal. Like people before the weekend even started, like my dad was like, what's your goal for the weekend? And I was like, I'm finishing that workout in three rounds. Didn't happen. Anyways, <laughs> um, going into that. I did it with an uh, assault bike. We don't, we have one echo bike, but it's at my house and not the gym. And we don't have a rope at the uh, house. So I had to do it on an echo bike. So a little different. Oh, well, um, I'm very comfortable with one minute rests. Like those types of workouts where it's like two minute on one minute off or like a sprint and then one minute rest. Give me one minute rest. I'm fine. Like, I'll recover and I'll be okay. So I wasn't really worried about blowing up too much or being like out of breath or fatigued. I mean, obviously I was fatigued. There's a lot of thrusters, but the only time you felt it was 
during the thrusters. So it wasn't too terrible. I think I did, um, I don't remember what I got in the first one. There was a couple rounds where I felt like I moved the bar like multiple times. <laughs> um, that was the only confusing part was where they had us put the bar. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, it didn't go in my head. I felt great about it, even though it didn't go as how I wanted. Um, like even before the leaderboard came out or anything, like I finished that workout and I was fired up. I was like, you can see it on the recording. I'm like, let's go even though like wow you got 25th good job like (laughs) but for me I was like pumped up um I didn't do like two I didn't do great on the workout but it was a good um adrenaline rush workout for me I really enjoyed that part of the weekend um but the thrusters got hard and I don't think I think there was one round where I like put the bar down where I didn't have to, like, to move it. Other than that, I w- went, like, unbroken. Um, but my thruster face is so bad. Like, those last, I think I had, on the last interval, I think I had 18 reps. And I was like, you're going unbroken. Like, there's <laughs> no question you're going unbroken. And I think I got to, like, six. And then I started doing the, like, and then it just got <laughs> getting worse and worse. And during one of the qualifier workouts, do you remember that one sprint? It was like toes bar, thrusters, and like mm-hmm. cleans. That workout, it looked like I was, you know that ugly filter where it's like makes you look like you're crying? That's what I looked like, just natural. Oh, um, no. <laughs> so like I was doing the thrusters, I was like, here it comes. Here it comes. <laughs> And I knew as soon as I got off the floor, like everyone that came was like, nice face. I was like, thanks. No. <laughs> yeah. My, my uncle was like, oh, there it was. I was like, yo. <laughs> okay. We're going to need a picture of that face. <laughs> I'll have to find it. I think there was one picture that they sent of me doing thrusters and it's, thank God it's not in the bottom of the thruster. Cause the bottom's the worst. So I'm like, ah. at the, the top, I just look scared. I'll send it to you. But I'm like, that's what I look like. It's so bad. <laughs> yeah, there's this one photo of me in the bottom of a thruster with a double chin. Oh, <laughs> cute. <laughs> like, oh, she really looks like she's constipated right now. About to go <laughs> mash potatoes on the bottom of a thruster. With 55 or whatever. With 55 <laughs> pounds. Like, <laughs> Wow. Good Literally job. at one point in that workout, I was doing a rope climb and the rope smacked me in the face somehow (laughs) I like put my feet around the rope a weird way and I just went and I was like oh Oh. (laughs) blinded was that the one you missed or you made that one no I made that one yeah the one I missed my feet just slipped and I slid down the rope which I think caused sad I know it caused me a few places I was like oh (laughs) <laughs> but like I told Stella that the most amazing part about that is had that been her from nine months ago rope climbing she would have ruined her hands for the weekend I would have ripped all you my know what fingers. I mean it's like the experience of knowing like when oh I'm going down to like not grip the rope and sl- slide down <laughs> also I'm gonna brag about myself the way yes. I come down a rope is so fast you don't play <laughs> don't play with the way I come down a rope do okay. you like do you jump off or do you like just slide? I past? just I I'm like a, it's like a fireman pole. I just dang yeah. So what you're saying is you need to teach a class on how to go down a rope. It's just natural. <laughs> I just do it. I just do it. <laughs> I just do it. No tips. No tips. I just do it. It's like all the other <laughs> guests on the podcast when they're talking about ring muscle ups. That's you and coming down ropes. Yeah, they just got them. <laughs> Just got that, guys. Muscle ups just... are probably the hardest to like explain. Like they're like, how do you do it? And you're like, I don't know. <laughs> I just do. That's you in a rope, Stella. You go yeah, down a rope like everyone do. else goes up and bring muscle up. Yeah. I mean, there's this video of me and the girl next to me going up a rope and then coming down, and she's just like, er, 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 and I'm like, Pew. <laughs> so Goals. just gonna brag about that. Anyways, I think that workout was really cool. The adrenaline was really cool, especially going into that fourth round. I mean, everybody, nobody in my heat finished in the third, but so we were all going into that fourth round with like, okay, I don't know how much she has left, but I'm going to crush her. So it, I think that was just such a cool workout to kind of program 
cool interval yeah. style. I love and that then, workout. What was the, the it, last? The D-ball. D-ball event. So that was four times 20 D-ball squat cleans. The 14 to 15 girls weight was 70. Um, 16 to 17 was 100 pounds. And then a 50-foot D-ball bear hug carry. And then a sprint to the finish. So very, very quick nine-minute time cap. Now, that 100-pound D-ball, pretty heavy. I watched some of the girls do it. Um, looks really heavy. So talk us through it. Talk us how you were feeling. Um, I feel like you should have had to do 100 because you made this, whatever weight your ass was, you made it look too easy. Um, we should have traded for that one. Just give me a, a brown hair yeah. wig. Yeah. <laughs> You're just short now. It's fine. Give me, give me a tan. <laughs> give me a tan. <laughs> um, I'd never done those before. I Most of the girls I talked to had it. Um, I don't have a D-ball at my gym. I have one at the house, but it's like one of those like, I don't know how to explain it. It's a 50, but it's like really small. Oh, so it's like like one, of, like, yeah, one of, yeah. like a yoga one or like the ones that they like. It's like, like a medicine like ball. Medicine it's ball, like a medicine yeah. ball, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so I was like, okay, every, but everyone's going to struggle with this. Like, there's very few people here who've done this movement before. Um, so I wasn't really stressed about like, oh my God, everyone's going to be going so fast doing, like, no, it was going to be hard for everybody. No one knows how to do these. Um, the hundred pound, the thing about D-balls for me is the weight is fine. Like it was heavy, fine. It's the size. It's like a humongous beach ball. And it's just, I just, I was like, it should be a sandbag. Um, but that was probably the hardest part about that was just the size. Cause you're like, huh. And then like your shoulders this small and the beach ball thing is like this big. <laughs> um, and then the carry honestly was fine in in warm-up I was a little worried about it I was like I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to like do that last squat clean and then have it on my shoulder and go right into the carry I was a little worried about that and I got on the floor and I got it up there and I was like oh this is fine uh so hindsight I probably should have pushed those last like five to six reps of the squat cleans a little harder um because the carry wasn't really an issue but I thought it was gonna be an issue so I was like oh just go slow um but yeah I liked I liked the carry part of that workout and running to the finish that was kind of cool we don't get to do that that much but yeah how do you think it would have been different if we were to do that on day one at the pit like you probably would have been worried about the carry because it would have been longer yeah, the one at the pit, I remember watching those girls, and I was like, whoa, they're flying. I had no idea what weight they were doing or anything, but I was like, dang. Um, but their carry was at least twice as long as ours, which honestly would have been better for me. <laughs> but um, it would have been really gross and disgusting. And honestly, I probably would have gone slower on the carry because I wouldn't want to slip. Like, mm-hmm. even just walking on that dirt for the opening ceremonies, I was like, oh that's yeah. not gonna be good like this is kind of sketchy because the rocks like they were just all next to each other and it was just kind of like psh. yeah yeah I was running like in between the obstacle and the run I did like some running warm-ups on there and I was like how am I gonna sprint with us d-ball on this later this is not a good idea but we didn't have to so that was nice yeah I mean, the photos from that D-ball event, like, there's this one photo, and my neck is, like, all the way over here, and then the (laughs) D-ball is just, like... And your (laughs) your face, too. You look like, I don't know, you look like an 18th century painting. You're like, oh, (laughs) like, you know how there's, like, all those paintings of people, like, with a snake and an apple, like, looking off? Me with a 55-pound thruster. Me with a 70-pound (laughs) D-ball. And pose. <laughs> pose. This is this is my natural what did, habitat. What do you think about that, Stella? How how do you feel you would have done? I don't know if we've talked about this on another episode. I don't think we have. How how do you feel you would have done if you the had exact same? Yeah, you just would have been place. dirty. You would have had Taya's tan. Um, yes, everyone I mean, would have had dirt tans. <laughs> It'd be great. I think if there wasn't, so our group had a false start. And yeah, all all 
all of us girls in the heat win except my best friend Ruby. She just stood in place because she's smart. She's a baller. Um, she's a baller. Anyways, we had Wait, a false start. What? Wait, why'd yeah. you all go? I'm so Because I think one of the girls who doesn't speak English thought it was time to go. And then oh. all the other girls went. And then I saw that everybody's going. I was like, oh, I should go. And then I oh. was so locked in that I did six reps on the D-ball before I noticed. So I'm not hey, I thought that. you false started. It wasn't you. No. No, it wasn't me. Well, and also it, there was something up with the announcer. Yeah. Our announcement. It was because wouldn't they be like stand by? And then there was an air horn. Beep. And then that day there was no air horn. They just were like, and go. Or they, I don't know, something <laughs> weird. Normally they'd be like 10 seconds. And then stand by. I think they went 10 seconds and then there was no stand by. Oh. And there was obviously no go either. And there was no go. That Yeah, that was it. Anyways, I did six reps. All the other girls did probably one rep. And I think that fatigued me a little bit. So you if think. there wasn't a false start and we were at the pit, I do think I could have won that event because I would have been able to go unbroken. Um, and I think the D-ball would have helped me because I can run with the D-ball. <laughs> so I think that would have helped because there's longer length that you have to do. Yeah, so I think I would have won it, but... I don't, I don't think it would have made a difference just if we didn't have a full start or if I just did one rep and wasn't so locked in. <laughs> so that's actually kind of on me, to be honest. So would you prefer to run, like if they have a 5K next year, would you prefer they just give you a D-ball and you run with the D-ball? Yeah. And then you would go faster than it. No, I wouldn't go faster, <laughs> but I would definitely beat more people. If you got to run Or with like the, the sandbags, the sandbags you put on your shoulder. No, D-ball. <laughs> yeah i feel like <laughs> the sandbag over the shoulder would be awful yeah ow oh back. yeah so i think that was a cool event and then let's talk about the ring muscle up one it was your best finish you crushed it you placed 10th Thanks. so <laughs> let's let's hear about this let's hear about your mindset because i think that's a really good way to end the games on so i actually lied i did this workout kind of forgot about it um i did the round of 27 and 21 and then I did five ring muscle so I did the oh the sorry dogs um <laughs> so I did like a little over half the workout when I did it I thought it was I thought it finished on muscle ups as well so I thought it went muscle ups around muscle ups around muscle ups around muscle ups around and then muscle ups and then sprint to the finish so I did the workout and my dad was like oh that's gonna be great and I was like I'm only halfway through the muscle ups. So I have to do 10 more or whatever. And he was like, no, you have five more. I was like, oh, cool. Um, so I was really excited about that event. I would say out of all the events, that was the most like CrossFit-y as in a sense of what you would see in a gym or like mm -hmm. in a class setting. Um, so I really liked it. Um, it kind of, <laughs> I don't know if you had to have your coach boost you up because you're tall but I had to have my coach boost me up and it it was nice it kind of just like lightened the mood and took the stress off of it being the final event because you're like oh he he you have to boost me up so yeah my uh, coach yeah. I just brought him out there for moral support I didn't need him I used him one time I was like okay what if you help me maybe I'll be able to get a rep didn't help at all so he just stood there for moral support yeah I I needed the boosts every time but it you was fun. Seen it was Taya, cool. Cause her oh, I know. Her, like her and Michelle her. crushed. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I didn't like, see yeah, Taya. Two, Did Michelle three. boost her? Yeah. yeah I so was, funny. we, when they talked about it at like that briefing or whatever, Michelle was like, you're kidding me. And she's like, I don't do CrossFit. Um, <laughs> just being funny. But they'd said that you didn't, it didn't have to be your coach. Mm -hmm. It could be like your parent guardian or whatever, anybody. Um, but she still had Michelle do it. I was like, get it, Michelle. That tickled <laughs> me. Cause I heard that in the briefing too. Um, you know, someone said, Oh, well, it doesn't have to be your coach. It can be your parent. And I remember looking over at Stella, like, well, that wouldn't have helped us. Can you imagine <laughs> me being out there like a clown trying to boost you? <laughs> you gotta have somebody yeah. who's competent. It wouldn't have been me. I think it was fun for the coaches too because they got to like they were like warming up for boosting us so they were being like at least my coaches be like goofy in the warm bear he's like oh let me warm up so funny <laughs> but I really loved that event that was my favorite I didn't know I did like 
that good in it. Bryn, I was in the bottom heat. Bryn freaking crushed that workout. But even before the workout started, my dad was like, I want you to win your heat. And I was like, Bryn's right there. This is literally Bryn in a workout. <laughs> uh, she ended up crushing per usual. But um, I think I was either like second or third in my heat, maybe fourth. But I didn't realize that I did that good in it. But I really liked that workout. It was fun. Yeah. <laughs> 10 out of 10. <laughs> 10 out of 10. Um, for you. <laughs> for, for me. <laughs> for you. But that was basically the recap of the games. Um, now we're just going to kind of do a how you feel like about the weekend. And obviously, you know, from what I heard from you is like things did not go well. <laughs> and kind of how you are kind of recovering from that mentally and how you're telling yourself, okay, like, Maybe that didn't go well, but, you know, it will go well next year, I make it. So kind of how you're doing mentally about that and what you're telling yourself. Um. So after the first day, with or without the D-ball, I was like, okay, you're going to be low in the pack. It was two running events. Like, let's be real. Um. So that was kind of like as expected. Didn't really put any pressure on myself. Missing the lifts. I took – those were some big risks for me, and I don't regret taking them because I knew if I would have hit those lifts – 10 or five pounds under that cool uh maybe a pr but then i'd be like oh i have more so it's nice to know like i have obviously i have limits but like know where those actually are because for most of the year i'm like i don't know what my pr is so it's kind of nice to know um would have been nice if i didn't miss because it would just been like an eight seven spot difference in that workout um but honestly it went like at first I was kind of upset not where I finished but because I felt like I couldn't push if that makes sense mm -hmm. like the vibe was so different from last year's games like last year's games there was 10 of you so you saw every single person warming up and everything they were doing you were all in one heat together it's like okay these are the 10 girls like we all go wherever i end in this heat is where i end in the event whereas this year it was kind of like more chill i guess i don't know if that's why i was just kind of like i'm here mm -hmm. uh which don't recommend just being there bad idea be competitive <laughs> um but i finally got that like spark or i guess you could say like drive almost to like mm -hmm. be competitive in events because like obviously I wanted to do good but like sending it in events and like pushing in events I got that on the last day uh, so if that would have showed up a little earlier that would have been nice but um mentally I'm I'm fine with it obviously that was my best for how I performed um that's that's where God wants me to be this year like my goal honestly was like 15th if I'd have gotten 15th I would have been stoked I would have felt like I won the games but that didn't happen but it's okay like I still had a blast I still like the vibes at the house when we like weren't at the stadium it wasn't like oh like weird because you're not doing good like we still I still had a blast the entire weekend I'm not like oh I should have done this I should have done that like the day of obviously you're thinking those things but now it's just kind of like Okay, that's how the games went like there were some things that I avoided that I definitely need to not avoid and I'm like okay let's get competing now um so I'm excited for next year and another thing is only eight of us that were here this year in my division will be there next year really? so 20 yeah the 22 oh, wow. up girls are all aging out Oh my gosh, I didn't no. even think of that. That's good, because yeah. I'm moving up next year. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, so only eight of us that were at the games, mm -hmm. if we all make it again next oh, year, right. we'll, will be others. there. But <laughs> there's more. Um, of you. There's there's more. <laughs> <laughs> um, so that was kind of like, okay, like, some of these girls are literally two years older yeah. than you. Like, the... Um, the age cutoff, they didn't change this year, obviously, because they're not going to change that for the elites. So mm -hmm. our age cutoff was still like mid-July. So there, I knew at least five, six girls that were 18 
competing mm-hmm. at the game. Yeah. Bailey, Bailey Garto, her birthday was the day, day two. So that was kind of fun. Oh, wow. um, but like these girls, my birthday's May. So these mm-hmm. girls are like two years older than me. So I was like, okay, well, hindsight, like I'm pretty fit. <laughs> and you, uh, you made the games last year as a 14, 15, and you moved up and still made the games as a 16, 17. So thanks. <laughs> very impressive because that is a huge jump, especially for like the weights and everything and gymnastics. It's a huge jump. So you be you should be very proud of yourself. <laughs> well, thanks. You'll be fine. You're literally your maxes are like more than mine. So yeah, you'll but be I, fine. I gotta get you gotta do ring muscle. I gotta ups. do <laughs> multiple ring muscle ups when broken, <laughs> so. or one or two to start. <laughs> one or two to start. We'll see. Bless. Anyways, thank you for being on for part two and not being a robot this time. <laughs> oh my god, my pleasure. Totally our fault. <laughs> Thanks for. Um, I feel like I've literally, I've probably been the most annoying person you guys no. have had to have on. It's our fault. Because we've no the <laughs> amount of times we've had to reschedule or like me had to push the time back or something well I'm Sunday. Like, oh my god. <laughs> so, like Sunday, I told Stella, I was like, well, your grandparents are coming over, so let's just reschedule Marley and then it'll be fine. And then an hour later they canceled and <laughs> I was like, just don't text her. It's we'll just keep it for Tuesday. <laughs> like, yeah, but I felt so bad. I was like, Oh my gosh, Stella's probably like, it's not even worth it anymore. Just don't be no. on the podcast. No, like rescheduling really does not bother us. It no. does not. Okay. No. Cause we've been, fun. we've been trying to do this since. Was it like, Mid, it's been a minute mid-june or Mid, mid-july because i think I it was went, mid-june yeah i'm no i'm like being serious i'm pretty sure it was mid-june because i went to catalina with my friend for vacation and then i came back mm-hmm. stuff happened i got sick <laughs> not talking to the world that week and then it was just like reschedule 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 yeah no i think we did the first recording yeah. too in july oh my gosh yeah. <laughs> august I'm so like yeah this is That's this is crazy. a little time capsule <laughs> So fun. Determination. But... <laughs> King of the jungle, heart of a lion. Four, three, two, one. Watch out, here I come. This is my time.